so welcome guys to Elisa YouTube channel so today is the first day with DSA with Python so we're going to solve problems so this is the 120 days challenge so today we're going to know about the fundamentals of Python's and how should we complete this course how should you approach this course we're going to talk about talk about that okay so this is full DSA playlist with Python okay so it will be complete playlist and it is sufficient to crack any interview related to Python oops or problem solving skills okay so so this is the day structure okay see from one to five days we're going to start learn Python fundamentals then from six to eight days we're going to do certain projects on Python fundamentals from eight to twelve days we're going to learn Python oops concept from 11 to 13 days we're going to do projects on this Python oops concept then from 14 to 20 days there will be fundamental problem solving so overall means we learn Python fundamentals then we learn Python oops so we got about the fundamentals and Python core concept right so with core concept we're going to solve certain problems okay then from 21 to 70 days there will be the data structure uh, where we're going to solve problems with Python then from 71 to 120 days we're going to start algorithm where we're going to solve algorithm with Python okay so today is fr from first to five days in this video we're going to learn Python fundamentals so there's this is the topics we're going to cover okay so execute Python syntax variable data types if else loops functions array class and objects okay so how to install Python okay so let's set up our environment okay so before setting up the environment uh, after after watching the video what should you do okay so you to for enhancing your proficiency I will recommend that after watching the video practice problems and then sh what regularly practice problem every day because practice makes a man perfect right so regularly practice and then share your problems means whatever you solved or even you got stuck in any kind of problem you can share to our whatsapp group okay or the in the community and where people your comrades or maybe the mentors can help you with your problems okay so this is the thing so let's start with the environment setup and coding okay so in this uh, in this po in this bootcamp we're going to use google collab okay so what is google collab okay google collab collab okay so what is google collab so uh, google collab uh, let me talk about the google collab google collab is cloud based okay environment where you can run python codes okay and r programming so it is provided by google where you don't need any you don't have to worry about your computer configuration here you will get 12 gb ram for free and 107 disk for free okay so let's this is the environment so here you can see the option that is new notebook so we're going to click on this new notebook so it's taking time uh, okay so it will be set up okay okay so here you can change that is python 120 days so whatever we're going to do it will in this collab so after doing the coding i'm going to share you the link so that you can use at it as notes okay so here you can see the runtime environment this is inside and file okay if you want to upload any kind of files you can do this okay so file and this is the file structure you can upload any kind of files okay so this is the runtime you can see the change runtime so right now we're going to select python 3 if you are using r then you can select r but we right now we're going to use python 3 and this is the hardware structure uh, so normally we're going to use gpu cpu okay no tpu needed so this is the thing so see they have connected that is uh, see they are providing with you 12 GB of RAM and 20, uh, 107 GB of disk size okay so let's start with Python fundamentals so see there is a code option and there is a text option so click on text and sorry okay let's type that is Python fundamental right and another structure is this this is for one two five days okay So this is the thing so this is the days and this is the python fundamental what are we going to study today right so let's start with 
so i think you should first understand what is the concept of variable right so let's take a example for how you can store a variable right so let's for example a let's take a box okay so this is the box so you take a box and you can put anything inside the box right so for example i want to put uh, a toys okay for example i want to put toys okay so for example i put toys inside the box so this is the thing but what is this box this is the variable name and this is the value so this is the box is a val variable and the toys is the value okay so this is the thing so if you run it you can run this way okay so this see this is the okay with python okay so now if you want to print this box if you want to see what is inside the box so for example i'm going to simply print and that will be the box okay see it's going to print see toys so in when we are printing box it going to give us the value inside the variable so this is the so this is a variable and equals to is a value okay so this is the print box and this is the toys okay now let's see so now we going to see what are the data types okay what what is the data types actually data types means so this is a string right this is a sentence right so there are mainly three types of data types are there so first is number okay then there is or sentence words you can say okay words and another is uh, you can say a condition condition you can say okay so what this th three things means okay so this is a number type if i uh, put uh, number for example if i put uh, inside the box inside the box or you can name any kind of variable for example number 1 okay number 1 i gave the variable name the number 1 instead of box okay so inside the number 1 what i am going to put i am going to put some va number variable value okay now if i print number see it going to print the 24 right is going to print the 24 so uh, this is the thing but we know that is the number but in python in coding it's called numeric or integers so this is the int type okay so this is the int type int and or integer okay so for example if i number 2 and if i click on that is 24.5 and what is this this is called as float okay float now you can check this type okay you can check this type okay let's me take uh, tell tell you what is the what is string so you can see this is the word so what is the word what, what is the sentence that is the toys is a sentence but in coding in coding they told us they tell that is if i name for example your name okay name is equals to so inside double quotation we going to type that is lisica lisica okay now this is when we are typing a sentence <coughs> so typing a sentence this is what this is string okay so it call when we are using word or sentence this is called a string in python so this is string in python okay now let's see when i print for example if you want to check a type for example this is a string and this is a float when we are having a decimal value this is the decimal value so this is called as float and when we have a solid number or integer number that is called int or integer okay let's do one thing let's check the type of any kind of number for example i if i want to check the type of number 2 so what i am going to do simple type inside the type i am going to write number 1 and instead in uh, in first i am going to use print so when i am using print see it going to give me the type so see this this is a int type see it is telling that this is the integer for example i want to print i want to check the type of uh, number 2 okay let's take check the number 2 okay number 2 what they told tell okay so for example so this is the float you can see this is type is float you can check the type of a variable what is uh, means what data type is it so uh, this is that to check to check check data type okay to check data type so uh, this is like for example number 1 is integer number 2 is float so uh, what we are using simple sorry simple we are using type and inside this bracket whatever is going to put whatever the value variable name it you will put it will give the that type that variable type okay for example if i uh, if i put a 
variable name that doesn't exist means for example name one see name one does does name one exist see there is only name but name one doesn't exist so it will give me a error okay see so what is the error so that is name one is not defined so you have to first define the name one then you will able to check what is the name one type so for example if I do this for example name one is equals to hello world okay hello world so this is hello world so when I check now if I check the name one type it's going to tell me that is this is a string see str the sh in short form that is string okay so str for shorter form of string is str okay so that is the thing so I think you got the idea now so this is the type this is the new uh, data types and, and uh, there is another data type that is boolean okay so what is the boolean this condition is a boolean means there should be two things that is true or false okay means there should be true true or false this only two value can be happen means so for example for example condi for example i give true okay now now if i pre type now see if I use see this is the boolean means bull that is means this is the boolean okay now let's see another thing that is so this is the boolean type this is the string type this is the float type and this is the number type okay now let's see now let's see what is the mathematical symbol for example for example num number 1 is equal to 24 or 25 okay now number 2 is equal to 25 okay now when we going to print number 1 plus number 2 see we are using plus symbol right so see what is giving that is 50 so this is the plus symbol okay plus so let's see when we are we want to math when we want to minus okay minus something for example 25 minus 25 so what will be there simple for minus also simple number one minus number two okay number two so let's print it see it will be zero right now for multiplication for multiplication we use we use we use star symbol okay star symbol that is number two we use star symbol see number one into number two is this okay now if I want to divide something divide and get the result so simple is that simple print number one divide by number two so this is division okay let's write division and this is multiplication and this is minus okay and this is sum or plus simple plus okay or sum so this is the thing okay so let's see what is the result of third one that is 1.0 okay and let's see another thing that is if I want to find the remainder remainder of the division rem for finding reminder we can use simple for remainder we can use simple number one then module sign number two and this is for remainder okay see when I see this is giving the zero okay so that is the thing now see this is the mathematical symbol so let's write that is mathematical symbols and use it okay so that is the thing so I think you got some idea about mathematical operation how you how you can assign a value in a variable how you can check type of the variable right so these are the things I think you should practice and your task should be your task should be make a simple 
calcu calculator okay okay before you make a calculator uh, let's uh, let's uh, do another uh, awesome thing that is take a input from user so see you when you, you uh, when you visit any website see inform you they want information from your site right for example instead of assigning value in number one we can also use simple number three is equals to input input enter uh enter uh enter a number okay now if i write it see it's going to ask me for input see four i'm giving an input see it's not but if i print this print this number three so see it's going to print if i print four it's going to print me four see it's going to print me four right but if i if i take two numbers for example number four is equals to input th that is enter second number okay but when i try to plus something like for some of the and some of the number three and number four you will shock that it will not be a plus or some of those two product but instead it going to give me a concatenation see see if i take four and see if i write five instead of nine it will be 45 see see, see this is a 45 so this is concatenation when you are adding two string because when see when you are taking as input this number this uh, four number is taking as a string means what is the what do you mean by string means a word means instead of instead of uh, a sentence we can also you write like 24 right we can do that also so simple see 24 right so same thing hap whenever user giving a uh, information like 24 it taking as a string so how can we convert it in integer when I when on the spot whenever they are taking input from the user right so we can see simple int and this okay okay now simple int and now if i use this see when i run it this four and now five it will be nine okay so i think you got the idea so this is the what is happening that is we are converting this string into integer so this is the int we are converting the integer so it is into integer a string into integer okay simple thing for uh, let's uh, show you another way that is for example let's take a num equals to 24 okay now if i print it print num see what will be the print say this is the 24 you cannot understand right but when i use type type of num see what is the type string but when I'm using num 1 is equals to 24 same thing for example let's print uh, copy this and uh, let's print it print num 1 then print num num 2 okay num 1 see what is the thing L this is the type let's check the type okay see what is the difference so 24 24 but this is the int and first one is that is string right so when i print it so uh, let's print it okay let's print it and okay so see so string this is a string and print type of num1 see what is it this is integer right so this is this 24 is integer this 24 is string but let's change this num into string into integer how can we we can do that simple 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 by using a bracket and in first we just give integer okay now if i write see both are the integer okay so i think you got the idea what is how you can convert string into integer so in later video we're going to see what is how to change uh, one value value type from another value type so we're going to see but in in this video i think you got the idea how to convert anything into integer so you also got idea about how to take inputs from the user so by t uh, by taking this knowledge in mind just create a user input calculator okay thank you so this is